What's in the box? Give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? Hey ladies and gents and welcome back to What's in a Box for another little mini special. Last time at Thimbleweed Park unboxing, disc number 22. So today I'm going to find out what's on this disc. I'm using my old really grimy, really crappy Dell Dimension XPS T500. So I'm going to power that on and wait until you hear how beautiful this sounds. Oh. Hopefully I can get my monitor working. It is quite broken. I'm also holding the camera today because our tripod is really broken and I don't know how to set it up so that we can see these things close up. Also last time, um, you may have noticed that on the diskette, there is some scuffing on the sticker, which is very sad, but I wasn't too, um, too bothered by it, being honest. But the coolest thing ever, Fangamer, the guys who made this beautiful big box, got on to me after watching the video and offered a replacement sticker without me even asking. That's really nice of the guys. And I must say, they're a cool team. They put together a great box. Please do check out Fangamer. They do gaming paraphernalia for all your favorite stuff. Right, my monitor isn't working, so I'm gonna try get that working before we get back to it. Oh, lovely, okay, I think I've got it on. It's very, very worrisome. Right, Windows 98. When's the last time you saw Windows 98? Gorgeous. Obviously, I don't have any capture card. So let's get this bad boy in. Ah, what a lovely sound. My computer. Using the ball mouse as well, which isn't great. And floppy A. Hopefully my floppy disk drive works. Sprite sheets. Ah, oh, cool. So are these sprite sheets for all the individual characters? Meaning that we can see all their individual animations. It is! That's really cool! There's Dolores, without a head. <laughs> I suppose her head is so big they had to do it separately. Yeah, look, they've done it separately down here. That's awesome. I love Dolores in the game. She's definitely, I think, the protagonist, realistically, of the game. Oh, that's really cool. I love sprite sheets. They're so interesting. I've attempted to do some animation sprite sheets in the past for my own little point and click adventure game using Adventure Game Studio, but I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet. That's really funny that her head having all the separate animations. They're talking animations. Cool, okay, okay, okay. Let's see the others. I quit out of that. My trap almost is not really working very well at all. Diner sheet. It's been years since I've heard the sound of a floppy disk looking for its information. So this is a sprite sheet for the diner. It's so cool. Art is so pretty. There's a sky background. Obviously, yeah, the layers. These are all the separate layers. What's really funny is a lot of the creators of this art for these games actually use, and oddly, you wouldn't think that they do, but they actually use Photoshop for all their design needs. According to the Thimbleweed Park podcast anyway, when Mark Ferrari was on, that's what he said he was using. It's very easy to do when you set it up in Photoshop with a grid and you just use your pixel paintbrush and actually making the characters and stuff look good is the hard part. There's Franklin, lovable, lovable loser, particularly like when he's a ghost. What a, what a great idea, just putting something small, something simple onto the diskette for people to look at. People who clearly love this style of game and this type of thing. My huge apologies for the shaky camera work. Franklin in ghost form. That sound is great. isn't loading up. We'll quit out of that. Yeah, my floppy disk drive on this particular Dell is pretty bad, I'll be honest. So much so that none of these are loading up now. <laughs> my huge apologies. Here at Hit the Snake, we're very professional and all our equipment works perfectly. <laughs> So I think my floppy drive has literally given up the ghost, given up the goose. So I'm going to leave it there ladies and gents, I'm going to pop that floppy 
back out of the drive keep her safe. So that's what's on the Thimbleweed Park floppy disk, disk number 22. And again, thanks to Fangamer for sorting me out, saying that they're going to send me on another sticker to replace that. That's really nice of them. And that's what's on the Thimbleweed Park floppy disk. Very, very interesting. I'm going to leave it there. Ladies and gents, please like, comment and subscribe. This is something different again today in what's in the box, but you know, we like to keep it different, change things up. If you're liking these videos, please let us know down below in the comments. There you go, disc 22.